Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to rip any DVD to your Mac or PC using an application called Handbrake. You can use this application to put the DVD uh, on your iPad, on your iPhone, on your iPod, on your Mac. Whatever you want it to be, you can probably do it. Um, so I'm going to provide the link to this application in the, in the description so you can use it. So the first thing you want to do is open up, or actually put in your DVD that you want to burn and I'm gonna put in I'm Legend so it's already in there next you wanna open up Handbrake and I have the 64-bit version of Handbrake and it also might uh, require you to download VLC so it can uh, do its thing I don't know what it needs it for but it just does and some versions of Handbrake so next when you open it up you wanna click on the DVD as you can see it's scanning the files right here okay it has all the files in there click open and now it is scanning all the sources. One of 13 for this video. And over here on the sidebar, you can actually see the presets. Uh, you can use Apple. Lots of different presets for Apple, regular, legacy, uh, all this different stuff. Okay, now it is done with uh, scanning the sources. So now, the first thing I do when I do this is I find the preset. Which one do I want to use? I want to use it for Universal, so I can put it on my iPad. Um, next, you want to make sure the title is one. It's probably, some of the titles are usually um, sometimes messed up, so you should probably find the one that's the longest, so an hour and 40 minutes. That is this one. Angle one, that's okay. Chapters one through 27, and one with the whole video, and the duration is an hour and 40 minutes. Next, you want to find the destination of where you want this to save when you finish exporting it. Uh, so desktop, that's cool. And um, depending on your preset over here, you can, as you can see right here, when I change it, it'll change the file so it'll work with any preset you use. Or if you don't want to use any of that, you can just simply click off here and then change it to whatever you want it to be. So you can customize this as much as you can. You can put subtitles on there, audio. Uh, change the audio in advance. You can put chapters on there. All that stuff would work really well. Uh, iPod 5G support. Pretty much anything on here. Picture settings. You can change almost anything on this how you want it to fit perfectly to whatever device you're going to put it on. So um, if you want to get started, put it on an iPad for say. Uh, you could put it on Universal. And next, you just make sure everything's set up correctly. And then you hit start. and it'll start and you'll see this progress bar right down here scanning title 1 of 13 and now it is encoding and you can see the percentage of how much it has finished and the frames per second estimated time of arrival and the average frames per second so as you can see you get this blue bar that goes all the way across and when it's finished, it'll be here. You can open it up in iTunes or put it on whatever device you want. And guys, that was just a pretty simple video on how to uh, rip any DVD to your computer and put it on any other device. And I will see you guys in the next video. Hope you enjoyed.